everyone welcome back my name is pooja rawat and in this particular session i'll be picking up some interesting interview questions that are currently uh, being asked in the ongoing nawad interview so i wanted to share it with you so that the people who are still awaiting their turn can uh, have an idea can get benefit and you'll have an idea like what kind of questions are being asked and how you should be uh, prepared for the coming interview all right so i'll be picking questions both the hr ones uh, that is the behavioral type of questions and the uh, technical ones all right so i've written down some questions for you and uh, i'll be picking these questions one by one okay so first thing is that people uh, who have the technical background for example who are engineers out there right uh, a lot of engineers are applying for the nabard or the rbi or the sebi uh, these days right so you should be better prepare yourself for the questions like uh, you are a mechanical engineer or an electrical engineer and how you know how your knowledge can be helpful in the nabard how can you contribute in the nabard or this type of question can also be asked in the rbi or the sebi like you have a technical background you are an engineer and how can you help uh, the nabard organization right so this is the type of question that you should be uh, thoroughly prepared right and this is one such question that you would be asked definitely all right so you you can answer like uh, you are pretty much interested in working the in working in rural sector or the agri sector or you wanted to work at the grassroots level that's why you're picking uh, these organization uh, dinabad organization all right and then the next question that could be asked is for all those people who are preparing for the government services for a uh, pretty long time for example you are preparing for last 3 4 years uh, for example you are preparing for upsc for uh, since to 2015 or 2016 then you will definitely be asked like what were you doing since 2016 or uh, is this organization is your last resort right for example if, if one preparing for upsc and you couldn't clear it uh, because of uh, any reason and then you finally apply for the nabard and then they'll ask you this question like what were you doing uh, since 2016 and 2017 and uh, why have you applied uh, for this organization now right so this this is one such question that uh, you can easily tackle uh, like uh, you have been giving this exam for two three times but you could not uh, clear it or 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 anyway you wanted to work at the grassroots level if not for, uh, through the upsc then uh to the nabard you you have to justify yourself uh, why you are applying for the organization why do you work why do you want to work right so list down some points or you should be very careful and you should be very clear in fact why you want to work uh, in so and so organization right so this is very important not for uh, just being asked in the interview but you should be clear in your thoughts uh, or you should be honest uh, to yourself like why do you want to work right this is what is going to uh, sustain you or this will be helpful in sustaining you in uh, doing or in working anywhere wherever you want right so your goals or these questions should be very clear why do you want to work or why do you want to join uh, any organization all right now let me pick some uh, technical questions that are being asked in the interview so uh, i've seen many transcripts and a lot of students have shared that uh, the panelists have been asking about the financial inclusion like what is financial uh, inclusion what nabard is doing in such a direction right why it is important so they've been asking this question uh, through various ways right so be prepared for this uh, question and i've also seen a very interesting question uh, uh, that they have asked is uh, about the russia ukraine war राइट सो नॉर्मली आपको लगता होगा कि इंटरव्यू में नबाद की स्पेसिफिकली इंटरव्यू की अगर हम बात करें तो दे विल बी आस्किंग इधर दी बिहेवियल क्वेश्चन आपके प्रोफाइल के बारे में आपके बायोडेटा के बारे में और दे विल बी आस्किंग अबाउट द एग्री सेक्टर और द रूरल सेक्टर और मे बी अबाउट द फंक्शन ऑफ दी नबाद तो दे हैव आस्क दिस द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ रशिया यूक्रेन वॉर ऑन द बॉन्ड मार्केट ऑन द इंटरेस्ट रेट तो यू शुड बी क्लियर कि नॉर्मली किसी भी वॉर में क्या होता है आपका इन्फ्लेशन बढ़ जाता है ये सब के आपको जो बैंकिंग कॉन्सेप्ट्स हैं वो क्लियर होने चाहिए और 
सो दीज आर इम्पॉर्टेंट सो दिस अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन सो बी क्लियर अबाउट दैट कि यूक्रेनियन वॉर का या रशिया यूक्रेन वॉर का इंडियन इकोनॉमी पर क्या फर्क पड़ सकता है इसके आप प्रिपेयर कर सकते हैं कि हाउ इज गोइंग टू अफेक्ट इंडियन इकोनॉमी हाउ इज गोइंग टू डिस्ट्रॉट द ट्रेड बिटवीन द कंट्रीज और हाउ इज गोइंग टू इम्पैक्ट द इंटरेस्ट रेट और द बॉन्ड मार्केट right so these are the questions that you should be prepared of and and they are just uh, they're not judging your knowledge or anything they just uh, i think they just wanted to know how aware you are kitne aware hain aap so apart from your uh, regular studies or regular syllabus uh, how aware or or how interested you are in the international events or the national national or international events एंड कितना आप ब्रॉड माइंडेडली सोच सकते हैं राइट दिस इज वॉट इट रिफ्लेक्ट्स अगर आपको अपने आस पास क्या हो रहे हैं बाकी कंट्रीज में और उसका आपकी कंट्री पर क्या इम्पैक्ट पड़ सकता है उसके बारे में अगर आपको नॉलेज है आप अवेयर हैं दैट शोज योर मेच्योरिटी एंड दैट शोज दैट यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन द नेशनल एंड द इंटरनेशनल इवेंट्स ऑफ इम्पॉर्टेंस राइट ना द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई वुड लाइक टू mention here is that they have been asking some very region specific question uh, for example they will be asking about your district if you belong from uh, from any district of patna or uh, they have asked this question from a guy who was from satna and then also asked this question from a guy who was from uh, one district from the uh, bihar so they were asking that ki discuss your uh, discuss the profile of your district and what are the problems of your district and how can you solve that problems right so aapko apne region ke bare mein thoda bahut awareness jo hai wo honi chahiye theek hai for example agar aap maharashtra region se belong karte hain to aapko pata hona chahiye ki wahan drip irrigation jo hai ya micro irrigation kafi successful hai and the government is also pushing towards that area telangana maharashtra in fact punjab and haryana also so they can ask you question from that area also also you should also know that ki aapka jo region hai wo kis agro climatic zone mein aata hai right ki aapko pata hona chahiye they can ask you like which agro climatic zone you belong to and they can also ask uh, about the crops that are grown in your area and they have also asked this question in fact and they asked this question like what are the crops that are grown in your area and what are the problems that the farmers are uh, facing these days right then a, a very interesting question that i've uh, seen in a in one of the transcripts is that they've also asked about the question uh, regarding the farmer suicide so there was a guy from vyanar and they asked this question like what are the reasons behind the farmer suicide or the uh, increasing rate of farmer suicide in your area theek hai to ye aap pehle se bhi prepare kar sakte hain to kehne ki baat sirf itni si hai ki aap apne region specific problems ko samjhe theek hai if your district is uh, famous for any uh, historical or cultural importance you can share that or agar aapke uh, your district is famous for any sort of temple or koi bhi religious importance hai aap wo share kar sakte ho agar aisa kuch nahi hai zaruri nahi hai ki har district mein koi na koi kisi na kisi cheez ke liye wo famous ho so agar aisa nahi hai to you can simply discuss the profile of your district like if it is a rural area or the urban area ठीक है किस तरीके की क्रॉप्स आपके अगर रूरल एरिया है तो एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर वाला एग्री प्रोमिनेंट एरिया है सो यू कैन शेयर कि विच क्रॉप्स आर ग्रोन इन योर एरियाज और अगर अर्बन सेक्टर है तो यू कैन शेयर कि सर्विस ओरिएंटेड है या फिर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ओरिएंटेड है इंडस्ट्रीज है यू कैन शेयर एनी ठीक है तो डोंट ड्रॉप सच क्वेश्चन दैट शोज हाउ मच अवेयर ऑफ हाउ मच अवेयर यू आर अबाउट योर सराउंडिंग्स राइट सो डोंट ड्रॉप दिस क्वेश्चन इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वंस ठीक है and these actually reflects कि आप कितना जानना चाहते हैं बाकी चीजों के बारे में भी है कि आप सिर्फ बुक बॉम नहीं है राइट देन देव ऑल्सो आज दिस क्वेश्चन दे आर आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन टू एवरी वन इन फैक्ट वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू से लाइक एट द एंड ऑफ द इंटरव्यू दे आस्क यू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एड एनी थिंग टू आर डिस्कशन टू दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन so this is very important this is your time and your turn that you can add value to uh, the entire conversation right so uh, do ask uh, these questions dekhi jo bhi aapki conversation hai uske regarding mein they ask you to add some value to add uh, anything then you can uh, even ask uh, such uh, any question or you can 
uh, simply uh, thanks for the entire conversation or you can pick any uh, any topic or any thing that you might think that this is of or uh, this is of importance right or aap sirf itna bhi keh sakte hain ki you'll uh, go into that topic you didn't have that knowledge and you are very much interested in uh, knowing that right so aap is tarike se share kar sakte hain uh the another important question that i've seen is that they also asked about uh, the technical questions ki agar hum baat kare to apart from the financial uh, financial inclusion jo wo pooch rahe hain bar bar they also asking about the functions of the nabard and the uh the payment banks ki is tarike ke questions kafi puche ja rahe and uh, then they were also asked ki like giving credit to poor is it actually going to benefit in a long run ठीक है तो दे आर आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन कि क्रेडिट दे रहा है ठीक है नबार्ड इज आल्सो हेल्पिंग इन गिविंग क्रेडिट टू दिस पुअर पीपल और दिस फार्मर्स इन द एग्री सेक्टर एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर और द पीपल वर्किंग इन द रूरल सेक्टर सोशल अपलिफ्टमेंट की बात कर रहे हैं बट दे आल्सो आस्क दैट कि गिविंग क्रेडिट टू दिस पुअर इज इट एक्चुअली गोइंग टू बेनिफिट इज इट एक्चुअली गोइंग और टू चेंज एनीथिंग राइट तो दीज आर द क्वेश्चन दीज आर ओपिनियटेड क्वेश्चन इन विच दे trying to ask or they wanted to know your opinion theek hai to aise questions ko ke liye aapko prepare hona chahiye for example they also asked this question like ki urbanization ho raha hai theek hai urbanization is uh, going on so why do you want to work in the rural sector a very important question ki why do you want to work in the rural sector or the agriculture sector when you know that the by 2015 uh, 2050 uh, most of the people would be living in the urban areas so be prepared for such questions you can uh, simply say that uh, like uh, india is still a agri oriented country and uh, this is the foundation of any civilization of any country's economy or it's very important for the food security and the majority of the people are still living in the rural areas and to uh, uplift those and to actually prepare yourself to prepare your economy well for the coming urbanization you actually need to uplift those uh people or uh, these uh, areas right so kya hoga ye ground level ki baat hogi ki aapko sabse pehle to bhai grassroots level pe hi kaam karna padega uske baad hi ye jo upcoming scenario jo hum discuss kar rahe hain that would be possible right so you can justify yourself uh, by answering this all right so prepare yourself uh, regarding these sort of questions so opinionated aapko hona chahiye ki agar aap fragmentation of land ki baat kar rahe hain ki लैंड होल्डिंग जो साइज है वो डिक्रीज कर रहा है तो यू शुड हैव सम सोल्यूशन इन योर माइंड कि व्हाट कैन यू डू टू एक्चुअली सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम ऑफ दिस डिक्रीजिंग लैंड होल्डिंग साइज अगर फेमिनाइजेशन ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर हो रहा है सो व्हाई इट इज हैपनिंग यू शुड बी अवेयर ऑफ दैट एंड देन यू शुड ऑल्सो बी रेडी टू गिव आंसर लाइक वट आर दी प्रॉब्लम और वट आर दी सोल्यूशन इन फैक्ट दैट कैट दैट कुड बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड इन इन रिमूविंग सच प्रॉब्लम right so these was uh, some questions uh, that are being asked in the interview and i wanted to share it with those i hope it was helpful right so this was all about today's session i hope you liked it in case you have any queries do post it down all right and i'll be coming in the next session i'll see you in the next session till then keep working hard keep studying goodbye